warm summer days have enveloped the land in a soft light that especially in the northern nights feels magical. Everything is hazy pink and blue, colored in pastels. The meadow flowers sleeping in a warm summer night. The sun barely sets below the horizon. Because the summer here in the northern hemisphere is fleeting, it feels so much more precious. A time you want to truly breathe in and enjoy. It's like all good things in life. Their fragility makes them so special and precious. Slowing down and enjoying the moment as it is feels so easy in the summer. So warm today it's about 28 Celsius and it's so nice and cool here in the shade in the forest and all the blueberries are already starting to ripen and they taste so good already I can't believe it I don't remember the last time we had blueberries at the end of June usually they ripen at July so that's kind of weird considering how long the winter was but I'm gonna enjoy the blueberries now every time I come here and eat a handful of them Have you ever thought, I'm too old for this? I'm too old to start something, whatever it is. As if age is the defining factor in what we do. Age is the one thing we're all subjected to. And if we allow it, it will define what we can and cannot do. In my twenties, I dreamed of being a ballet dancer, but I thought I was too old and didn't pursue my dream. In my thirties, I felt too old for art school. Luckily, I was stubborn enough to pursue that path anyways and did study and graduate. This spring, I noticed having this thought often again and it was starting to hinder my ability to go for things. What if I won't have time to do all I dream of doing? What if time just slips by and I end up not achieving things I've dreamed of since young? It was like a wake-up call to stop just thinking about things and start doing. Start living more fully be less afraid of failure and embrace the journey with the failures as well. Understanding that they are just growing pains and still keep going. That's how I want to live, hard open and courageous. I think we all have a lot to give to this world and these boundaries we set up for ourselves are just that, self-made. What would you do if there were no boundaries? What do you dream of doing?
It's the same with slowing down. Sometimes we're so used to rush through things on our to-do list, so much so that we lose the ability to slow down. Hurrying becomes a habit. Now, as summer is here, and things are slowing down around me, I found it really hard to slow down myself at first. As if the hurry was still locked inside me. So this week I've been doing things without hurry, trying to tell my body and mind that it's okay to let go now and just enjoy being. Do you have any ways you use to bring a slower pace to your life? Wishing you a wonderful summer filled with dreams and warm days. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.